Um, this dish is, is all about caramelising your vegetables. So we've got, um, in this dish, sorry, excuse me, um, we've got red peppers, we've got green peppers, and we've got some onions, some garlic, some potatoes. And so it's really just a very simple vegetable dish. And, you know, the, the selling point, I suppose, if you like, is they're all caramelised and so lots of sweet, uh, lovely flavours. Um, so in here I've got the potatoes and onions. And I'm going to cook this for about a further 15 minutes. Um, but, in fact, I've got some potatoes at a slightly further stage to that. <coughs> so here, here what I, I've got some potatoes, right. I've got the onions, yep. and I'm just going to add the red peppers, right, like that, onto the tray. And I add the green peppers, the garlic. This is a very sort of simple mm. Spanish peasanty sort of dish. Um, you know, classic Spanish ingredients, peppers, garlic, potatoes. Um, I'm also going to add some salt. So I've got my potatoes, my onions, um, red and green peppers, some garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. If you, if you think it looks dry and needs a drizzle more olive oil, by all means just give it another quick drizzle. Where does this dish originate from? You know? I, I think it's from the south of Spain, I think. Right. But, um, Andalusia. Yeah, I, I'm really? sure it is. Yeah. So back in the oven, and in the meantime, um, we're going to make the salad. So this is a very, very easy salad, and um, in fact, you can help. <laughs> what we're going to do is um, have some chicory, um, which you are going to just, well, I'll chop the end off, and okay. you're going to break up literally into the bowl. So okay. it, this, is, this is very simple. It's not too scary. Um, no. Next, um, a handful of walnuts. Um, and Eddie, I think that that fish is about ready to turn over now. This is, this is all going too fast, and it's quite, they're quite I think I'm getting there. rapid, aren't they? You're taking all this in. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. I mean, we'll, the key we'll provide to the you with the written recipe afterwards, so we can jog your memory. Can you do it, it for me? <laughs> anyway, so that's very nice. Let's put one more um, head of chicory. Um, if you can arrange that nicely, it's doing very well there. Um, so, some some walnuts. Just setting off a minute. Chicory, yes, yeah. yeah. It's very bitter, huh? Exactly, and it's quite nice with the, with the nuts and this lovely blue cheese, which is um, Picos de Europa cheese. Yesterday we had um, yeah. Wendy Sale on um, showing us how Picos de Europa, and it's Beautiful. quite strong, the Picos cheese, so you don't want um, a sort of huge amount. Um, right, we're just going to crumble that. In fact, you can do this bit. Um, it's just crum walnuts on top. Yeah. Crum <laughs> exactly, right. crumble the cheese. It's quite strong blue cheese, you know, from the sort of Picos de Europa up in the north of Spain, made from cow's milk. So we, we crumble those bits on the top, and then we have a very, very simple vinaigrette. Um, which is with, with, with one secret, which is which is um, sherry vinegar. Yeah. So anyway, um, olive oil, sherry vinegar, squeeze of lemon juice just to sort of lift it a little bit. Not and very much. What, what do you got? Three three oil to one vinegar, roughly. Yeah, about that. Do, Actually, do with this one, we, we make a reasonably acidic, uh, a reasonably vinegary right. vinaigrette, just because the chicory and, and the cheese need something you know sure. slightly more acid than, than yeah. you might have. Might have normally. Yeah. I'm assuming if you couldn't get hold of this cheese, you could use a, a good rock for or exactly. a good, good British. Um, so we'll crumble the rest of that cheese on. There we are, very nice and easy. So I think that this fish is about done. Let's just we'll just have a quick look. When you yeah. look at the fish, come on, come on, have a look. You're looking at the fillet. It's, it's come on, if you, if you, um, it's only about a centimetre thick. That, that's going to be the last bit to cook. So you can see it, it's just beginning to cook through. You know that 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 is now sort of cooked cooked through. If it was pink in the middle, right. you'd know it wasn't cooked yet. Right. So, so you've got a sort of crispy outside, you've timed it, and then you have a sort of little check just to make sure that it looks cooked. You know, it's like chicken. If it looks pink in the middle, it's not quite Maybe. done. And all you have to do is cook it for a bit longer. That simple.